All right, people. So, uh, making videos has been difficult lately, and uh, in the meantime, I've been evolving into a caveman, getting dirtier and hairier. Um, but I figured I'd use this video just kind of ca to catch up and link some really cool things together because part of the difficulty is, especially with the snakes here, is, um, I mean, snakes are relatively difficult to find, especially when I'm confined to a fenced-in area, um, like when I'm in Kruger National Park. Right now, I'm not, so, you know, I'll be able to go out and, like, herp and actually look for stuff, but otherwise, it's just kind of been, like, snakes just, like, randomly appear, like you saw with the spitting cobra, the spotted bush snake, it's just, like, sudden like that, like, all of a sudden, it's in the yard, and then I go weeks without seeing a snake, and then all of a sudden, there's something again. Um, but so the past couple days have been hectic, but um, I guess I'll start by talking about what happened the other morning. So the other morning we were at breakfast and uh, one of our guys just comes like running down from his house in his underwear and he's just like, come here, come here, and doesn't even say anything. So I take off running, uh, grab my video camera and it turns out there's a black mamba on campus or just off of campus behind a fence. I couldn't get too close and the footage is like, you know, not great, but I got to see a black mamba and here's that footage for you guys. Okay, there's a black mamba on campus at breakfast and uh, you can't really see it very well, but it's black mamba and it's huge. It's still there. Is it real? Yeah. That's awesome. Alright, so you follow that branch up. Go up these. And then there it is up in there. Really, really big. And they're on the self defense, you know? Uh -huh. That's the, that's the only, uh, only time you want to fight somebody. I just want to strike somebody. Thank you, Ami. Okay, cool, man. Sorry? Yeah, I think now it's already three meters plus now. Because it was way. When, when, when it was down, its body was towards this other trunk while its head was already up there mm -hmm. so it's already picked so now what it did it, it went up and then it curled like that mm -hmm. and for context for the video this is an electric fence and then the snake is up yeah. that tree up that way up and right there so really hard to see but there it is and if you start from the tail and then you, you follow it up, then you will see that so it's, it's already three meters. Right? Yeah. 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 Man, I, I wish it were closer. Yeah. yeah. And then if you look on so the left side, you can see that branch that goes out, like, parallel to the ground, on the left hand side, if you look in that crook. Alright, last attempt at a, a look at this thing before we head out. You can see there's a bird kind of harassing it. Um, so that's actually how Emmy over yeah. here found it. He uh, he heard the, the birds calling, they're harassing it, and then he looked up and saw the snake and was able to spot it all the way from his uh, back door over here. But uh, pretty cool. We're gonna move on because we gotta go, but Hopefully this semester it comes a little closer at some point. Super, super cool. All right, and then so after that, I had, you know, it's been a hectic couple days. We jumped in a car and we took an 11 hour drive up through Kruger National Park, eventually making it up to where we are now, which is Hamakuya. But first, I'll just give you a little montage of that game drive because it was amazing. We saw some crazy wildlife, so here we go now.
All right, and then so now I guess I'll uh, I'll show you where I am uh, here and give you some updates as I'm doing that. So to start with, we're in Hamakuya, which is uh, almost up by the border of Mozambique, and it's like a it's a very remote village. There's not really much cell reception at all, if any, um, and it's like it's like really out there. Like the people don't speak English. We have translators and stuff like that, and. Uh, Starting tomorrow, I'm actually going to go live with a, uh, I believe it's a Venda, which is the language or the, I'm sounding really uninformed here because I am, um, but I'm going to go live with people that live here in Hamakuya for three days. And I'll probably bring the camera along for that experience, but then I'm here for, you know, like a week-ish and I'm free to roam around. There's a river over that way with tons of crocodiles and no hippos so I can go nice and close to those guys and uh, there's plenty of areas to look for snakes so I guess I'm just going to show you guys where I'm living and um, and just a little bit about this place and then there should be some videos of actually looking for snakes and flipping rocks and more typical videos of mine coming up soon so uh, let's check that out. Alright so pretty cool here this is our main little camp we've got these tents here hold on sorry really windy. All right. Um, Jesus. Yeah. This is not the typical weather here. It was like above 100 degrees yesterday. And yeah. But this is our, our little camp here. This is where we're living. I'll show you that. And then you can see a little bit of the view from here. There you go. Then uh, it's probably really dark in there, but you get the gist. And then uh, through here you can see we're above a river, and that's the river right there. Anyway, that's gonna be, uh, geez, it just hit my head. That's gonna be a wrap for that, but uh, hopefully that kind of fills you, fills in the gaps and. Uh, makes things a little bit easier from now on.